what's happening? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? All right, all right. I got a question for y'all. Uh, King David, Jesus Christ, he's of the family of King David. Is that correct? Do y'all deal with the family of King David? Just a question. Do y'all deal with the family of King David? King David in the Bible, because Jesus is the root of David. And uh, Revelations 22, 16. So don't you have to be from the family of David to have salvation? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, for example, they are of the family of David. King David. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Well, do so, you think if we were not, if we were not following and the root of David, his son Jesus Christ, do you, keep do you follow that? Man, you do follow? Will we be standing here today? Uh, well, you use the name Jehovah. Will we be standing here? Well, I'm answering your question. You're using the name Jehovah that's not given to us in the New Testament. Oh, oh. New Testament? Yeah, because Jesus Christ is the name exalted in the New Testament. Oh, no, and that's where our salvation is in the New Testament. So, you are going to different thing today. so do you know you're not under the covenant of the New Testament? You're not under that? And you, What part of Africa are you from? What part of Africa? I can tell by your accent. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you might be a Hebrew Israelite. You know a lot of the, the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered from West Africa. You know that, right? Mainly West Africa, but we were... All the nations uh, took us into captivity in 70 AD. And uh, that's in the Bible. That's in Rebbe, uh, Deuteronomy 28 verse 68. Did you know that? The lineage, the people uh, the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob they went into slavery by slave ships those are the real Jews and children of Israel so you guys, are you guys slave descendants? well you probably are not you know with your accent and all but uh Maybe you might want to search that out. Maybe you are. Because you better hope you are because the Africans that sold us to the white man, the Grecians, they got to go into slavery. They got to go into captivity. Because all Africans are not uh, from Shem. They're from Ham. But the ones that are under Shem that were left in Africa... You know, you might be a uh, descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You might want to search that out, okay? Did you know that? Aren't you supposed to talk to me? What? Can we uh, have a conversation? I just wanted to know if you you were a slave descendant. Do you know that? Did, are you slave descendant? Do you have a relationship uh, with the people that went into slavery? Or are you separate? Are you a separate from those people? Because if you're separate, you're not a children of Israel. You're not going to talk to me? I just wanted a conversation. Okay, well, take that with y'all. That uh, if you're not related to those slave descendants, then you're not of the family of David, okay? The household of King David. Jesus Christ is the root and offspring of King David. Revelation 22, 16. All right. But get ready for captivity if y'all heathens, which y'all appear to be heathens because y'all can't even communicate. So y'all get ready for slavery. That's the advantage that the Jews had. We have the oracles of God. Romans 3, verse 1 through 4. So the Bible belongs to the Jews, children of Israel, man. We're the descendants of Jesus Christ. Revelation 22, 16. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Got to be of that line, man. Heritage, lineage. As Jehovah's Witnesses don't want to talk to nobody that's learned, man. They want to deceive the, the unlearned. That's what the Christian church does. Mainly all organized religion. 
They want to deal with the unlearned, man. Not the learned. When you learn, they give you the silent treatment. Watch this. Question for you. Uh, uh, King David, he's related to Jesus Christ. Is he related to Jesus Christ, King David, in the Bible? Through, yeah, through his lineage. Lineage. Born through the lineage of, of uh, David and his, yeah, through the tribe of Judah. So that would mean Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, same. Yeah. They are all related, so that's lineage. Uh, so King Jesus. Superman, yeah, so Jesus is a Jew. Yeah, here on the earth he was a Jewish man. And, and um, John 4.22, he says salvation is of the Jews. Do you agree with that? Is that still today? It's only for the Jews? Well, today it's a little bit different. Uh, God turned his attention, what is that in the book of Acts, where he turned his attention to the nations to take out of them a people for his name. He used to work through that one nation. They set up the laws for their benefit. Do you remember um, that they that the nation of Israel was split into two kingdoms? You had the northern and the southern. Yeah. Two in one tribe, or one two in the other. So, oh, you're very learned. Um, so the northern kingdom were called Gentiles. Well, we the, the, northern, the northern were the ten tribes. They yeah. were under Jeroboam to begin. Because when Jesus walked the earth, the, the southern was still in the Jerusalem, right? Well, the Jews. They were yeah, still they in had Jerusalem. Kind of, in 607, they all went back together after they came out of captivity to the, to the uh, Babylonians. But uh, in 607... They went into captivity at 537, about 70 years later, it came back. They all kind of went back to Jerusalem, but they never did real well. They never did well, real well. They had trouble. In 70 AD, they were That's right. all was yeah. scattered That's right. out of Jerusalem, right? Yeah. And then going to slavery by slave ships, Deuteronomy 2868. Did what now? Deuteronomy. Uh, Deuteronomy 2868 says okay. that they were going to slavery by slave ships. Yeah. So... Would that be the African American people who are the children of Israel and the, the real Jews? Well, according to scripture, are you a black Jew? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I got a question. I'm not trying to get yeah. into it. Yeah. It seems like you're the first one that's come by that is not angry, yeah. and I don't know why. Because I got Jesus, and they don't. Are the others they, they, angry? Yeah, they, they, Everyone well, they don't have, they don't live lift up Jesus. They well, don't I mean, have even the black they, they come by and they're very, un, they're, un, they're mad at everybody. And right. I don't right. understand. It's a tough, I they, thought I'd ask. Yeah, ask yeah, yeah. I appreciate the question, yeah. but but they don't have Jesus. Okay. So for one thing, they, they so, they, so they'll have a different spirit. They'll have okay. a different spirit. Because okay. Jesus is what? Meek and lowly. We sure are. Yeah. Right, right. We're supposed to be trying to follow his example. And I always wondered why everyone, they, you're the first one I've seen that doesn't act mad and angry at everybody. Yeah, different spirit. Okay. Different spirit. Well, I'm glad to know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I am a, like you said, I am a Jew. Okay. And the scriptures say that the children of Israel were going to slavery by slave ships in Deuteronomy 28, 68. So they do have a point there. Even though they're angry and uh, their, their biblical knowledge is, is, is not perfected, they do have a point that they are the real Jews. But they have to be circumcised in their heart and they reject Jesus' name so therefore they don't get that perfection. So they don't get that let me ask you, in teachings of black Jews, do they feel that Jesus is their Messiah? Yeah, he's, a, he's a black man. Well, we, well, that's what we teach too. Okay. That he's a black man from the tribe of Judah. And he only died for the 12 tribes of Israel. But they, we were scattered and we were called Gentiles. So those are the Gentiles called by his name. Okay. When we search the scriptures... He came for the Gentiles who were called after his name. Okay, I, well, I'm glad to hear. I, I, personally, John 3.16, though, shows that God 
loved but, the world so much he gave mm -hmm. his only begotten son. But that world, when we precept that Isaiah 45, 17, that world is without end. That's Israel. It says, and Isaiah 45, 17 says, Israel shall be saved with an everlasting salvation. You shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. So Israel is that world without end, which would be the kingdom of God. Yeah. And when we get to Ephesians 3, 21, the church is without end. So Israel is God's church. Even when we precept it with Acts 7, uh, 38 and 39. It says that the church was in the wilderness with Christ. Mm -hmm. The church was in the wilderness. And Abraham, I mean, excuse me, Moses led the children of Israel into the wilderness. From ancient Egypt into the wilderness. So they were a congregation and a church there. And we see that in the book of Leviticus. You know, Deuteronomy. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. you know, because Deuteronomy 18, verse 1 through 5. Yeah. Deuteronomy yeah. 19, verse 1 through 3. They're the congregation. But we didn't have Christ as our root. So that's why he uh, disassociated us with our heritage. He discontinued us from our heritage, which would be Jeremiah 17, verse 4. He said we will not continue in our heritage. And we will be... Uh, taken to a strange land and serve a, a strange people and we would serve strange gods and uh, that's what happened to us and organized religion under the Pope and all these denominations that's the, the proof that the Bible is real because these are strange gods he said that we would serve strange gods but Jesus came to turn us back to the God of Israel the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob that's true, that's sense. why the majority of the Jewish people did not accept what Jesus said because they had gotten the following false doctrines and false teachings of them. This is, this is a, this was when, sent, when Peter was talking. What version is this? What uh, version? Because well, really the, the King James is only the inspired word of God with the red well, letters. that's not really true. But I'll, I'll what has the red letters? I've got it here. Is that King James? Here, let me find it. Traditional. Yeah, I'm back here too. I'm where you, where you at in Peter? Where you at in Peter? Acts. Acts, okay. Let's see, let me go back here. Come on, that's clear. What chapter Acts? Let me go. Acts 15. Oh, I love that. Find the translation. I don't know. How come you guys have so many translations? No, I'm showing you the different ones we could use. Yeah, but why you can is find that? the truth in any one? King James what? was written in 1611 by a pagan uh, king. Yes, it was. You know, you know it was. That's what they say. I mean, that's not what they say. Well, that's, you tell that's by it. the way the, the English language. The Valdine. We don't speak like that today. Right. That's how they spoke back then in 1611. Well, it was sponsored by King James. Well, yeah, most of writings will come in BC. That was yeah, they didn't, they, they didn't have it in English back then. Yeah, they had the it written in Hebrew, Aramaic, Hebrew, Latin, and Greek. Hebrew, Latin, and Greek. Those came later. That was later. Well, the Holy Spirit has to interpret it. Too. Well, sure it did. Yeah, but, but it's but not man's it's, it's, intellect. No. What where the confusion comes in? Because you know the Pope is not in the Bible. No, correct. Of course not. Christ, nor, nor the Catholic Church is not there. Well, they are the Romans. But yeah, the, it's but, Roman. But it's the, a pagan teaching. Yeah, but the but check Acts fifteen fourteen. That's where God turned His attention to the nations to take out a people for His name. Let's get that. Yeah, Acts fifteen fourteen. Okay, but remember, it was the people who were called by His name. When we go to the Old Testament, the Old Testament. Or the prophecy yeah, of what Christ time, all he used was the nation of Israel. Do you, do you believe in the prophecies of the Old Testament? Christ came to fulfill every single prophecy. Is that correct? Sure. Well, it was told, for example, Ezekiel 36, 17, that Israel will be scattered. They will be dispersed. So when we get to and John, were. And John 7, 35, they said, well, where will he go? Will he go to the disperse among the Jews? You know, then we get to John 11, from 50 to 53. It said Christ came to save that nation, not yep. that nation only, but all the children of God who were scattered abroad. So we That's get to true. James 1.1. 1, 1. James is talking to the 12 tribes of Israel. Mm -hmm. 
people were scattered abroad. Mm -hmm. Jesus came to gather those tribes back to one head himself. Yeah. I'll be glad to talk. We're, we're leaving now. Yeah. But does but that make sense? Acts 15. Well, yes, but... Uh, I got Acts 15 right here. Acts 15, 14, where, he, where Simeon showed where God turned his attention to take out a people for his name uh -huh. because before then he always worked through the nation of Israel but they no longer because they rejected Jesus they no longer worked through them as a nation because they completely rejected he said that your house is abandoned to you well no, remember Jesus came to fulfill prophecy he told David that he will establish his house forever 2nd Samuel 2nd Samuel 7 verse 10 through 29 yeah. God told David that out of his loins he would have a son Sure. And he will establish he his kingdom. For, he so Christ came into the earth to establish the kingdom of Israel. Yeah. Christ sits right now on the throne of David. In the heavens. And he rules the earth. He, came, God, he, he became a man. That was to whole, have God's that whole God. purpose for man to live under peaceful conditions by means of that kingdom arrangement. Well, and look what we have today. Not peaceful conditions. Oh, he's going to rule by the sword. Because Revelation 2, 2, 26, 27 yeah. said, they that overcome, he get power over the nation. Sure, we're going to rule with the God's rod of whole purpose is man to live in peaceful conditions. Back with the Garden of Eden. Multiply, yeah, fill the earth. God has to change his purpose. His purpose is to have sons. His sons. Have what? Sons. Uh, oh, well, Ex that, that, Exodus 4, 22 said, Israel is my son. He's done that to, to did correct you, them. Did you know the nation of Israel is only his son? Exodus 4, no, 22. Israel no. is my son, even my firstborn. That's, and Jesus Christ is the inheritance for the children of Israel. Yeah. He's the inheritance. Well, we enjoy talking with you. Yeah, enjoy but, talking but with you. But you're from Esau. Esau has no... Who is Jehovah? Jesus. Jesus is Jehovah. Oh, they're, that's God's they're, son. they're one and the same. No, John 10, 30. No. You don't believe My father is greater than I am. God is the Savior, right? Jehovah the Savior? What does, be, what does the name Jesus mean? Salvation of Jah. Uh, salvation of who? Jah. Hallelujah. Salvation of uh, Jehovah. Many different de uh, definitions many, of what the name Jesus means. Why people use the name Jehovah? One of the main why definitions of his name is Savior. Why don't people use the name Jehovah? It's, it's not given to us in the New Testament. Oh, it's 7,000 times. It's in the King James Version. But didn't uh, Jehovah so, exalt his... I got one question. Uh, this is Psalms 138, verse 2. Did not Jehovah exalt his His word above all his name in verse 2? Psalms 83, 18. Who is the most high over yeah, all the earth? Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. But he exalted his, his word above all his name. And then when we get to Revelation 19, 13, the name... Uh, uh, of the Word of God is Jesus Christ. That's so true. He, so Jesus Christ's Jesus name word. is the only glorified name in the whole earth. Uh, Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 through 11. Jehovah's Jesus Christ's name is glorified. Jehovah so, cannot so die. So you can't truck make, checkmate that. Jesus, is, Jesus, Jesus has all had power. to die on the earth. He has all power days. in heaven and earth. But you yeah. Edomites, he said he hates the well, Edomites. Before, you, before we could understand who Jehovah is, how could we Do you know you Esau? Anything? Do you know you Esau, though? Pardon? Do you know that you're Esau from Esau's line? And he hates the Edomites. He hates you. Nice talking with him. Yeah, but he's going to destroy you and your Have nation. Nice he's going to destroy you. You agree with that, right? You agree with the Bible. So you're doing this in vain. That's why he's going to destroy why we're you. not in agreement. Why? That's Romans 9, 13. I, we can make the scriptures anything, but it's what's the consistency. Really, what is God's purpose for man to live we, in peaceful? He's not divisive. He, he's, he's never not divisive. What does it say? He want, Jesus said, I didn't come to bring peace, but a sword. Oh, well, and he said, Israel is the rod sure. of his inheritance. God's inheritance are the children of Israel. Okay. That's his lot. <laughs> Deuteronomy 32, verse 9. God, his lot is his, the children of Israel. You have a good day. You're the devil. You're the devil. See, this is the advantage of the Jews, like I said. Now, to us are given the oracles of God. It's not for any other nation, man. They are liars and deceivers, trying to deceive the children of Israel, trying to take as many to hell as they can with them. And by the way, y'all watch Great Lion videos. Go to, watch Great Lion camps. Type that in and subscribe to his videos. Great Lion, and then I uh, put camps there. That's the easy way to find him. Make sure y'all subscribe to that brother. He's he's putting out some serious teaching there.
that we all need to be able to break these teachings down. And uh, I have a new site. Maybe y'all are watching it right now on that site. Uh, King Lord. King Lord Hebrew Israelite. King Lord. All right. And subscribe to all my backup channels. Uh, you know, YouTube keeps suspending me. So I need y'all to subscribe to all my backup channels. Uh, if you would, please. And it's going to get real. Y'all going to miss some videos, some serious videos, if you don't. Because I'm not going to post. I got two strikes on uh, King Superman. So King Superman is, uh, I'm retiring him. And we're going to roll with King Lord. King Lord. Now this video might be up on the King Superman channel, but it'll be the last video. Because I got two strikes. One more, they're going to kill that whole site. And I might as well just let it sit, man. Yeah, y'all know how I, how I do it. So if I keep putting videos up, they're going to just go ahead and destroy that site. So I'm going to just let it sit, man. And maybe they won't touch it that way. So we're going to roll with the backup channels, y'all. So subscribe. Do that right now. Pause this video and do that for me. And subscribe to my backup channels. All of them. Appreciate that. Blood of Jesus be with you. Yeah, that damn YouTube, man. Like, this is spending me for a month, right? I couldn't upload any videos for a whole month. And the first day they released it, the channel, I put up one of my old videos. I just reposted it. And they suspended me again for two more weeks. So that's why we're going to do this, man. So I'm going to tell you, the backup channels only will I be posting videos. Uh, you'll never see another video, as far as I'm concerned, on this uh, King Superman channel. So uh, if you're rolling with me, subscribe to those backup channels, if you would. And pass the word to, uh, for folks to uh, watch these channels, man. King Superman channel.